Good morning, Half Heart family, and welcome to Saturday Morning Prayers. Today we honor St. Henry II, son of Gisela of Burgundy and Henry II, the Quarrelsome, Duke of Bavaria, educated at the Cathedral School in Hildesheim by Bishop Wolfgang of Regensburg became Duke of Bavaria himself in 995 upon his father's death, which ended Henry's thoughts of becoming a priest, ascended to the throne of Germany in the year 1002, crowned King of Pavia, Italy, on the 15th of May, 1004, married St. Cunegunda, but was never a father. Some sources claim the two lived celibately, but there is no evidence either way. Henry's brother rebelled against his power, and Henry was forced to defeat him on the battlefield, but later forgave him, and the two reconciled. Henry was crowned Holy Roman Emperor in the year 1014 by Pope Benedict VIII. He was the last of the Saxon dynasty of emperors, founded schools, quelled rebellions, protected the frontiers, worked to establish a stable peace in Europe and to reform the church while respecting its independence, fostered missions and established Bamberg, Germany, a center for missions to Slavic countries, started the construction of the cathedral at Basel, Switzerland, which took nearly 400 years to complete. Both Henry and St. Cunegunda were prayerful people and generous to the poor. At one point, he was cured of an unnamed illness by the touch of St. Benedict of Nursia at Monte Cassino. Widower Following Cunegunda's death, he considered becoming a monk, but the abbot of St. Vaughan at Verdun, France, refused his application and told him to keep his place in the world where he could do much good for people in the advancement of God's kingdom. St. Henry II Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be the holy and undivided Trinity, now and forevermore. Amen. Prayer of St. Anselm We love you, O our God, and we desire to love you more and more. Grant to us that we may love you as much as we desire and as much as we ought. O dearest friend, who has so loved and saved us, the thought of whom is so sweet and always growing sweeter, come with Christ and dwell in our hearts, that you keep a watch over our lips, our steps, our deeds, and we shall not need to be anxious either for our souls or our bodies. Give us love, sweetest of all gifts, which knows no enemy. Give us in our hearts pure love, born of your love to us, that we may love others as you love us. O most loving Father of Jesus Christ, from whom flows all love, let our hearts, frozen in sin, cold to you and cold to others, be warmed by this divine fire. So help and bless us in your Son. Amen. An Act of Adoration O great God, the Sovereign Lord of heaven and earth, I prostrate myself before thee. With all the angels and saints, I adore thee. I acknowledge thee to be my Creator and Sovereign Lord, my first beginning and last end. I render to thee the homage of my being and life. I submit myself to thy holy will, and I devote myself to thy divine service this day and forever. The Lord's Prayer Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The Angelus The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech Thee, O Lord, Thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, Thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by His passion and cross be brought to the glory of His resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Carmelite Prayer to the Heart of Jesus Love of the Heart of Jesus, inflame my heart. Charity of the Heart of Jesus, fill my heart. Strength of the Heart of Jesus, uphold my heart. Mercy of the Heart of Jesus, forgive my heart. Patience of the Heart of Jesus, Weary not of my heart. Kingdom of the heart of Jesus, be established in my heart. Wisdom of the heart of Jesus, teach my heart. Will of the heart of Jesus, dispose of my heart. Zeal of the heart of Jesus, consume my heart. The Apostles' Creed I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Act of Faith O my God, I firmly believe that Thou art one God in three divine persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I believe that Thy divine Son became man 
and died for our sins, and that he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe these and all the truths which the Holy Catholic Church teaches, because thou hast revealed them, who canst neither deceive nor be deceived. Act of Hope O my God, relying on thy infinite goodness and promises, I hope to obtain pardon of my sins, the help of thy grace, and life everlasting, through the merits of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Redeemer. Act of Charity O my God, I love thee above all things, with my whole heart and soul, because thou art all good and worthy of all love. I love my neighbor as myself for the love of thee. I forgive all who have injured me and ask pardon of all whom I have injured. Now we make a firm resolution to avoid evil and to do good. Adorable Jesus, divine pattern of that perfection to which we should all aspire, I will endeavor this day to follow thine example, to be mild, humble, chaste, zealous, patient, charitable, and resigned. Incline my heart to keep thy commandments. I am resolved to watch over myself with the greatest diligence, and to live soberly, justly, and piously for the time to come. I will take care of my words that I may not offend with my tongue. I will turn away my eyes that they may not see vanity, and I will be particularly attentive not to relapse this day into my accustomed failings, but to struggle against them with thy gracious assistance. Enlighten my mind, purify my heart, and guide my steps, that I may pass all my life in thy divine service. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Litany of the Most Precious Blood of Jesus Christ Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Ghost, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Blood of Christ, the only begotten Son of the Eternal Father, save us. Blood of Christ, the Word of God made flesh, save us. Blood of Christ, of the new and eternal covenant, save us. Blood of Christ, which in his agony ran down upon the ground, save us. Blood of Christ, which welled up under the scourging, save us. Blood of Christ, which flowed from beneath the crown of thorns, save us. Blood of Christ, which was poured out upon the cross, 
save us. Blood of Christ, which paid for our salvation, save us. Blood of Christ, without which there is no forgiveness of sin, save us. Blood of Christ, which in the Eucharist nourishes and cleanses our souls, save us. Blood of Christ, torrent of mercy, save us. Blood of Christ, which overcame the powers of darkness, save us. Blood of Christ, giving strength to martyrs, save us. Blood of Christ, giving endurance to confessors, save us. Blood of Christ, from which virginity flowers, save us. Blood of Christ, giving courage to those in danger, save us. Blood of Christ, giving help to those who are burdened, save us. Blood of Christ, giving comfort to those in sorrow, save us. Blood of Christ, giving hope to the repentant, save us. Blood of Christ, through which the dying are consoled, save us. Blood of Christ, through which our hearts find peace and refreshment, save us. Blood of Christ, through which we are assured of everlasting life, save us. Blood of Christ, by which the gates of purgatory are opened wide, save us. Blood of Christ, worthy of all praise and glory, save us. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Thou hast ransomed us with thy blood, O Lord, and made of us a kingdom for our God. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, Thou hast appointed Thine only begotten Son to be the Redeemer of the world and chosen to accept the offering of His blood. Therefore, we beg Thee, teach us to reverence that which paid for our salvation and defend us by its power from the evils of this earthly life so that we may rejoice forever in the life that it has bought for us in heaven. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Daily Novena Prayer to Saint Joseph O Saint Joseph, whose protection is so great, so strong, so prompt before the throne of God, I place in you all my interests and desires. O Saint Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me, from your divine Son, all spiritual blessings, through Jesus Christ our Lord, so that having experienced here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O Saint Joseph, I never weary of contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Hold him close in my name, and kiss his fine head from me, and ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. Prayer to Our Guardian Angel Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom his love entrusts me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Prayer of the Half-Heart Family Dear Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we come together as the Half-Heart Family to extend our deepest gratitude for the many blessings showered upon us, though we recognize our unworthiness. In humility, we ask for forgiveness 
for all of our sins. We pray for our salvation and endlessly seek your mercy. We remember the holy souls in purgatory, seeking their comfort and release. We lift up all sinners, especially those in their final hours, along with those members of our families and those dear to us. May your grace guide them to you. We hold in our hearts the sick, the hospitalized, and those confined to their homes. May they find healing in your embrace and return to health and wellness. Our thoughts turn to Pope Francis, praying for his strength of mind, body, and spirit. May he lead the Holy Catholic Church, fulfilling the mission you have entrusted to him. We pray for the leaders of nations around the world. Grant them the wisdom to govern according to your will, bringing the world much needed peace and righteousness. Finally, we yearn for the unity among all Catholics, from Pope Francis to your clergy, from all the devoted religious to every parishioner. May we come together under one holy Catholic and apostolic church, under one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and under the one true God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Yam Lucis Orto Sideri Now that the star of light has risen, let us to God most humbly pray to save us from all hurtful things in all our actions of the day, to bridle and restrain our tongue that wordy war may not resound, to cover and protect our sight from dangerous follies all around, to drive iniquity away and purify our inmost soul, and by spare use of meat and drink our rebel passions to control, that when the day has sped away and he again the night shall bring, we may through holy abstinence with purity his glory sing. All glory to the Father be, all praise, eternal Son, to thee, all honor as is ever meet, to God, the holy paraclete. Come to us, Holy Spirit. Come to us, Holy Spirit, come, one with the Father and the Son vouchsafe to dwell within our souls, and quickly make our hearts thine own. Let voice and mind and heart and strength confess and glorify thy name, and let the fire of charity burn bright and other hearts in flame. O God, who canst not! O God, who canst not change nor fail, guiding the hours as they roll by, brightening with beam the morning pale, and burning in the midday sky. Quench thou the fires of hate and strife, the wasting fever of the heart. From perils guard our feeble life, and to our souls thy peace impart. Grant this, O Father, only Son, and Holy Spirit, God of grace, to whom all glory, three in one, be given in every time and place. Amen. Prayer Before a Crucifix Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before thy face I humbly kneel and with burning soul I pray and beseech thee to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, true contrition for my sins, 
and a firm purpose of amendment. While with deep affection and grief of soul, I ponder within myself and mentally contemplate thy five most precious wounds. Having before my eyes the words which David the prophet put on thy lips concerning thee, O good Jesus, they have pierced my hands and my feet. They have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Saint Michael Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Have a blessed day, everyone. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please join me in praying today's rosary by clicking the link in the top left corner. And remember to like, subscribe, and share this video. And click the notification bell so you never miss a prayer with us. God bless.